welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to some more Warno. We're doing a 1v1 here, ranked, playing against Yamato, or aka Homelander. He's playing against as, as his 11th Cav on the left side. Me playing my 4th on the right side. My deployment, um, I am pretty much going to lock down this point. That was my goal. You need to see me setting up some stuff. Just some Strella, just in case he loads. Uh, some, you know, so I got Meta, it's Fulcher Mager, another Fulcher Mager. And the recon coming, sorry, a CV coming over here. In the mid, I'm going full Schmager, full Schmager metas, and then a got going for these key positions here. Over here, I felt like not doing anything. I just bought a recon and a got two full Schmager coming this way, and yeah, and two cubs as well with a CV. Double CV going for both objectives. This CV is going to go, you know, right north to south. Seen F16 already. Oh, sorry, my opponent. My opponent got GRS. IHawk, IHawk, and some engineers, GRS, more G, sorry, BGS, and just one CV. Very risky over here. Probably should have probed that, I guess, but yeah, who cares? F16 coming in pretty, you know, liberally there, and takes one hit, and now has to repair for like five minutes. So that was a good hit for us. But a lot of these BGS here moving up. They're really cheap. They're only 30 points. So 50 points a pop. They call out with the transport. We're seeing a CV rotate over to the side now. It's actually quicker to go this way. But he's going to drive all the way across back over here. I'm going to give him the side. He's double IHawk, as I said. And I uh, I wasn't planning on fighting the side anyway. I do have a got here, though. It's a clean kill, 50 points. Over here, we engage a little bit. He kits it out pretty quickly. We have my metas here. Fulshamiga here. And he is now in big trouble. And he's getting annihilated. It caught out in the open. This is some BS happens right here. Some of this full Shamigers gets annihilated by this BGS. Watch this. Look at this. Look how much damage they do. These guns, man, they do a lot of damage real quick. Already five man. I do get in the building. That gives me 90% reduction. But yeah, I'm being hurt pretty badly there. TV now is in center. I got my two cubs here. Back over here, nothing too crazy. I am moving a CV into his rear. People don't cover this. I was like, right, I have an extra CV to spare. I buy my first MIG, a T plane, uh, to go for these A cav AT, yeah, tanks. Get a nice hit on one of them. He hits me though with one of his IHawks. He's hurt. He's going to have to back up and repair that. Over here, we're mopping up the, you know, BGS squads. Got my full Schmiger here. He's got his CV coming in. I'm running my CV though into his rear lines. AT. I buy a second AT plane. Try to get another strike on him. I go a little too deep there. He does miss though. He does get hit one hit though, but I do survive. I'm buying some forces over here to prevent any breakthrough. I'm buying Estrella too, just in case. Of helos. Over here, I'm moving up now. Moving all these guys up. I do I believe I have reinforcements coming soon. No, not yet. And then I get my CV into his rear. Give me a plus five tick on him now. Made a big mistake there. Airborne moving up to this position to fight these engineers. Engineers and buildings are pretty nasty though. Two more engineers coming this way. Engineers are so crazy good. But two extra men, man, will annihilate any squads. Move out here, I get caught out in the open. Trying to get into this building. Not looking good for me though. I believe I buy an HE bomber to deal with these engineers. I was actually trying to bomb these two, but I lose a lot of sight as he annihilates my full Schmager. 2v1, 10 man squad, 20 men versus 8 men. Not looking good. Even these guys aren't vetted. I should retreat from that engagement. Sadly, I do not. He retreats from the point. I'm still capping him here. He's got a Cobra. I'm trying to find my CV. I should have just ran it back to my line. I tried going for more. And because he does that, I make a mistake here. He gets, he gets a line of sight on me, and he chases me. Should have just ran this way. <laughs> Back over here, we have a MiG-21 bomber coming in. Try to strike these engineers, and I lost line of sight of these guys. His IHawk missiles do miss. He does reload, though. Misses again, in bad angles, fires again. 
Misses. No, he hits that time. I think 21 does die, and my CV does die over here. So I got that huge tick on him right now. I believe I have waves of reinforcements. I got metas coming in. I'm probably going to buy a whole bunch of... You can see me already buying them. Queuing them up. More full Schminger. More Pioneer Flame. Getting them up to the front. Killing these guys. These three squads. With some supply. And engineers annihilate another two squads. Man, those engineers are tough cookies, man. And men are just not so much better than everybody else. Shoot down one of the silos here. With Estrella. Just trying to move it up to get a good shot. Moving up his IHawks. Trying to get, I guess, my air spawn. If I come in from this angle, I'll come from this angle, though. And I'm buying my first 255A spam. And we're looking good. We're looking good here. He's looking to... Looks like he's looking to push up. I got Gots here, though. I got my Cubs. Kills transport. It's 20 points there. God, it's only 50 points. So if he kills three of those, I go positive. I see him moving up a Cobra. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything. With these Cubs. He does annihilate one of my full Schmeager there. He is almost out of missiles. I'm thinking about moving this up in a second. Take, I take a lot less damage, though, when I'm in buildings. He's about to run out. Stuns me. And he's out of missiles. In a defense position, though, I am really strong right here. I'm taking 90% less damage in buildings. He's taking 50% if he's in forest. He's doing that, though. He's trying to... I'm moving up these guys now. Probably more 55 A's. Next wave of reinforcements are coming here. We're seeing a laser guided bomb coming in. Going in for them... Elite guys here. I'm going to move my supply back. Do I do miss? Gets a clean kill. I'm going to back these guys up now. All the way into the rear. Unfortunately, he does get away with the strike. Over here, I got a big force coming. Backing these guys up. He lands the Cobra now that I he knows that I have AA in the vicinity. You can see, though, in the building, man, I am annihilating these guys. I am double vet Volschmager. I'm moving these guys back to replenish. These guys' metas go back as well. And now we're, but I do lose these guys, unfortunately. I'm trying to back off now. But I'm coming into the zone. I have some Strela coming up to assist with the Helos. He's buying Cobras. Flame Troops and Volschmager engage. Getting these guys in the buildings now. Don't want to put these guys in, both in the building because they take satchel charges. Well, maybe they can't. These are on the other side of the building. I don't risk it anyway. This guys taking a lot of damage. Come in with the laser guided bomb. I move one off of the way to try not to take the both hits. Get out of the way. He has some supply coming this way, I guess. These aren't mine. They're West German. Trying to do some more damage over here. I still got my got here. Doesn't kill the target. These are 50 points. You kill one of these, I pay for itself. HGM's coming out. It's a clean kill with the squad in it. That's 50, 60, 70, 80 points lost there. HGM is out. It's another 80 points. Clean kill. Laser got a bomb looking to get a target. I do have two cubs though here in better positions. Got a lot of engineers now. Over here he's starting to probe me. Got two ACAV M1A1s. Still nothing on this front line, man. I should definitely bought something. I can't believe he didn't buy any recon. Ridiculous. Buy Estrella's here. Estrella knocked down the silo. Estrella had a cheap 30 points each. Pretty much paid for itself by killing one Cobra. Gifty fires are moving in. And he has nothing really to just counter them except hands or grins. Here's your guy to bomb coming in. Gets a one strike on him. Bomb comes in, gets a clean hit on my full Schmeager. But the damage is already done. I got plenty of guys. This full Schmeager's healed. Start moving him up in a second. T55 engaging now. And T55s have that extra heavy machine gun on top with a medium machine gun on top as well. So it's really strong. So these squads got instant suppressed. 
Shooting them along, trying to fire at 17 pen. It's a nice, almost hits. It's next to it, does some damage. Hands again, fighting Fulchmager. These guys will for sure lose. Four men. Except with that hitting me. Then my 55s engage. Over this flank, he does get into the zone. I wasn't concerned about this. I buy two gots to pincer him. These guys are vetted up. In fact, I think they're double vet. Yeah, I think they're double vet. Messed up one of them. These jams are out. You miss. Bring up some Panzer Grand. Sorry, some motor sh motor shoots in. I know he's got just BGS in here. He's got no ET. So I was like, I'll just run up right to him with some BTRs, and he is done. SVWs, man. They also carry a uh, heavy machine gun with a medium machine gun. Get a nice tank kill there. Now he's got these PGSs. are pretty strong squads, but against BT, uh, SPWs, they have nothing. Over here, moving up a little bit. He derps out his AC jam. He was far back. Now we're thinking about making a bigger push and buying a lot more Fulshamaker SMG squads. SMG squads are really good on the defense. He's running away now, realizing I have taken back this position. I'm going to go back up now. He's only plus two, but we're going to go back to even in a second. AT playing going to try to get this ACAV here. Miss. Luckily, the IHawks miss. Over here, we're not doing too hot, getting annihilated by all this stuff. Building up tank forces, we're moving up our AA now, we're moving up tons of equipment. We see an Abrams here. Let's see my full stringer gets annihilated. You do have 16s over here as well, we got a Strella for it. And we're just like at that pause moment of the game now, where people are starting to build up again. Before we re-engage. See Cobra coming around the side here. I'm trying to get a strike over here. It's a big supply. It's 80 points here. Goes down. Get a nice hit on that Cobra. I'm clearing it up. That side's mine now. Over here, I'm trying to move up SMG. Three MGs in them, man. They're really, really strong. I do go down there. Cobra is out of ammo. Meanwhile, I'm waiting up for some more T55s. I'm buying the better model, the AM2. These ones actually have smoke. Paired them. Let's look at them. So this one has smoke, 14 armor, 14 pen, 2,000 something range. This one has less range, less armor, and no smoke. So big difference. Moving up now. Pushing up the slope. These two engineers just taking a pounding here. He's not really reacting at the moment. It's a clean kill on me. 55 moved up a little bit too much. And I was like, oh man, is this guy gonna go for it? I guess he is. I'm gonna have to move the tanks here. We got metas though. I got gods here. I'm gonna stun him. Takes a hit. Fulshmaker fires a shot. Misses, sadly, because he sucks. I decided to move up everything here. Trying to get a kill here. 55's engaging in CQC. Miss. Sadly. Reloading. He reloads first. He's double vet. I decide I'm going to go for it anyway. I kill a Cobra and I get a shot off here. That makes up for the loss. Moving up my forces now here. Decides to retreat though. I have an ET plane. Thinking about getting a target. Again, misses and I get damaged. <laughs> Moving up here. I really want to kill that Abrams. It's really disheartened though. He's going back to medium cohesion now. Engineer is not taking a pounding. Next wave of tanks are here. Buying one more additional cub. Three more tanks coming in as well. 
moving squads now into these. Engineers going down. These SMG squads are actually like some of the best defense squads in the entire game. Three, I mean, yeah, they're really good defense squads. So not the best on offensive. Let's. See this coming in. Moving up still. Filling his supplies. He needs that. He's repairing his Abrams. LRS getting hit here. I have five tanks here now. I think he's about to see it. LRS is dead. Two T-55s. It's just too suppressed. They don't- they both miss. He smokes though, he's not gonna take the risk. Moving my tanks through this now. Got plenty of forces now, moving on my metas as well. You can see the SMG man, they're annihilating at three MGs. The amount of firepower they can lay down. I'm gonna back these guys up. I don't want to engage this. Abrams, there's two of them now. Seeing two F-16s, we're seeing a laser got a bomb coming in for a target. Hasn't decided yet. Got three cubs here though. A little bit too far, they should probably move up though. Does leave the zone, giving me the tick again. He's retreating big time. Doing up his Abrams. He's buying a third, fourth Abrams are coming. Buying some motor shoots in. He's buying tons more engineers now. And dismounted troops. Dismounted troops are six man squads, man. The problem with them, right, is you have to take them unvetted. They got three MGs, but man. They just die. So quickly, because they're six men. Anything that's like, they'll, like, they'll lose to like, pretty much everything. <laughs> Still a CV there. Now I can rotate over. Thinking about getting his tanks and CQC. Engage him here. Fire one shot. I was like, eh, that's not going well. Just back off. Let him come into the forest. Bring up some pioneer flame troops. Any dismount your engineers that come in there will die now. It's like, ooh, this is an opportunity to have this guy hiding behind this building. I have a metas over here. Just killing supply. Which is like pretty valuable, honestly. Can't repair any of his tanks now. Is the M1A cab, you rotate it over. Got a lot of forces over here now guarding. Laser guided bomb comes in, takes a beating, and goes down. Got three tanks here. I'm like, hmm, do I want to take this engagement? Probably not. I decide I'm gonna take on this one tank by itself. In a 4v1. Which will soon be a 5v1. Killing some squads here. It's a clean kill on me. Now he's stunned. Oh, but he backs off. You got no supply to repair or anything. Could bring over the silo. What was that? That was weird. Back over here, we got something to action. Moving on my full shimmer with the SMG squads. Got some now motor shoots in over here too. One vetted. You can see this squad man just annihilating the engineers. Flame troops engage. I think it engages me though. He's gonna come into this forest, looks like. These dismounted troops are being annihilated. Two W's are moving up too. <coughs> I was thinking, I was like, hmm. Is this the time? We get one strike here. 
decided to buy my time. I'm like, ah, I'm not gonna make any stupid engagements. Try to kill these engineers the best I can. He's got a lot of armor here. You can see me trying to back off here. He's bringing up some supply right now. Definitely not enough to cover everything. I'll move out my tanks up here. Get a shot here. He engages me pretty well. Mess him up. Move a tank on the side here. Get one of his tanks. I'm gonna back off though. One's good enough. And he's gonna push out of the zone here. You can see him building up a force to attack this location. Which I was kind of surprised about, honestly. When I saw this happening, you'll see me rotate this thing over here just in case. There's a CB. Moving my full shimmer back deeper inside the zone here. I'm buying tons of conquerors here to assist in the situation. Bring out one of my mega ATs. This has 16, so I'm going to risk it. I just need to damage him or suppress him or make it force him to use a smoke. AT goes off. Trying to get the hit. He does smoke him again. I evac out, trying to get away. I think I do it unsuccessfully. I do go down. With nothing to cover, got some Pioneer Flames coming. This tank does take another hit. Got no more smoke to cover himself. I go over here, I see him try to get a CV in here. <laughs> Not happening it. You're now trying to get this under control. CV's coming in already though, so it's okay. No need to really panic. Does have a lot of mech dragons over here. They're pretty good, honestly. I mean, they got a decent range. Galaxy are coming in. Get my CV now in the zone. He does have my Griffle Dragons uh, coming in at me. Get my Metas here. I smoke. Or sorry, Mark. My flame troops should really destroy him any, any type of forces that enter into these buildings. That is, we're trying to get hits. Almost hit him. You can see now pioneers coming, more conquerors, motor shoots in. Over here, I'm just content with repairing my units. Killing these uh, light vehicles. So how many 50 cal now? I mistakenly move the conquers here. Not my best move. Move these conquers forward to engage. I'll put a tank here just in case. Conquers tries to hit. Misses. Fires another round. Gets a hit. Stuns him. Does die to the dragon, though. Putting down rounds on him. Gets the kill. Zone is mine again. Mech rifles have no shot now. Especially pioneers getting these buildings. Stunned. Back over here, we see another force coming. Got a lot of tanks though. A lot of things are repaired. I'm ready to go again. Only 16 minutes left on the clock. And I was like, mm, do I push this? I was like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I'm coming to me. Yeah, mech rifle man there. These are expensive squads, 70 points. Comparison of 50 points for a flame unit. There's all those guys. Over here we see command tank try to push through. I rotate my tanks. Come over here and help. Moving up my supply over here to help out a little bit. Like I am not letting this guy get hit on me. I stun him. 
Two tanks engage. One hit. Two hit. And he's dead. Turret gets cleanly blown off. Now, he's going to rotate his entire force. And I mean everything. He's going to put a defensive force here. Got an ACAV here guarding himself. Got a huge force. We're going to fast forward a little bit because he's going to rotate over here unexpectedly. I do get caught wind of it. I get a little bit of line of sight of him crossing this bridge. I see that and I start to rotate forces over here. Bring up some supply as well to get these guys rearmed. Ready to go for more action. I bring up two AT helos. And I am ready to go. Bring up some Strela as well. I got more Conkers. I was like, oh man, is he coming here? I bring up some ATGM tanks. I was like, if he's going to do this, I'm ready for it. I was thinking about pushing this area, but I was like, all right, I'm just going to like, think I can just kind of sit here. Worst case scenario, I can open up another front when he does, he initiates attack. And he does initiate his attack right here. Engineers dismount troops. Three Abrams, Bradley, another Abrams, tons of Milans, Kenzagrens. Bring up some AA now for himself. He's got two fighters. And the action begins with the helos. We're gonna fire each jam as fighters come in. Get hit on one of them. Get another hit. Pushing in now. It's jams going at it. Kill Mulan and a Bradley Recon. Hit the tank as well. These things also have AC jams. You see all the AC jams flying around. Conkers have a little bit more stealth. Get bailed out on that one. Killing all of these vehicles. We're just launching ATGM after ATGM. In fact, some of them have become vetted up. These guys are going out. Knocking them out. Abram's ready to go. There's another hit on me. Thanks, you're about to arrive. Nothing over here. Wasn't necessary. Finally kill another tank. Finally out of supplies. Gotta build out tank here. I have HE bombers coming for it and his helos. This is one of his 80.1s. I was like, I'm going to go for that. That's totally worth. You see me coming in. I change my mind. One of the targets. I go like that. AT plane goes in. Misses. I bring up my conquers from this angle now. Get a nice hit. Kills my conquers there. Miss again. And we do shoot him down. I got another AT plane coming in. I'm trying to get the CV here. TV does die. And that is game there. You can see there, we traded 1.57 to 1. Yamato guys, for reference, is pretty tight high on the leaderboard. Overall 15, he's gone down a little bit. Man, look at all that NATO games. God dang, he's got a lot of games. Holy crap. He's got 500. I'm like at 105. <laughs> anyway, thanks uh, Yamato for playing, or aka Homelander. Guys, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you guys want to see. And uh, see you guys around.